knowing when to stop in today's video seems to be the thing. Uh, I should have known when I got to the compositions. I say I'm going to use it as an editing exercise, but the other thing that happened was I took the drone. I should have known when to stop with the drone and I was enjoying the footage. I was enjoying, enjoying flying around and I, I wanted a certain style of shot and it just didn't work. And depth perception wasn't the best, but that's the way things are. So that'll be getting sent back to GGI for a repair. Three days I've had it, just three days and ah. These things happen, so that'll get sent away and get repaired. So I was hoping to take it up to Fort William next week. That's not going to happen now. So there is no way there's going to be any aerial footage from Fort William. Hopefully you'll hang around for the end of the video just to see the editing process. And hopefully you get something out of it. I'm going to sign off here just now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say thank you very much for watching the video and if you stay to the end thanks for that as well. Uh, if you're currently not a subscriber please consider subscribing, check out the rest of the videos in the channel. Uh, not so kind of haphazard and accident prone but check out the rest of the videos in the channel and if you think you'd like to watch some more think about it. Uh, have a check out the rest see what you think and if you think about subscribing I'd really appreciate that because it really helps the channel grow. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. For this I'm going to use a drone image and that's simply because the autumnal colours where I am at the moment are not fully out and I just want to show you how to enhance them. I've already created a template for this and the template I have, it, this one is for drone shots and if I just click that it'll enhance everything for me except for the colours but from here I can then go in and edit everything but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from the beginning so I'm going to reset that reset adjustments and I'm going to get into edit so the first thing I'm going to do is work out what it is I want to edit so I'm going to jump straight into composition I'm going to get into free and I'm going to take it over to the areas of the image that I want attention to be drawn to and for me in this case it is this diagonal running through here so I've got nothing going on over there so I'm going to take that in as well and that just means that your eye hopefully should be led through here although this is the dominant area hopefully your eye should be led through there right I'm okay with that and I'm okay with the piece of road up here so I'm just going to click composition and that's it now cropped. Now this piece of road up here I don't want. So I'm going to get into Arrays. And I'm going to take the brush radius up quite a bit. Just a bit there. And paint over this area. And click Erase. Now it should make a decent job of that. And it has. That's okay. I can live with that. Next thing I am going to do is we're going to get and play with the colours here. So we'll jump into the colour palette. And we're going to Hue, Saturation and Luminance. Now the ones that we're going to play with the most are the yellows and the greens. And you have a choice of taking it over that way or taking it down that way. So because this is coming into autumn for us, I am going to take it over this way a little bit. Now, as you can see from the original image, the autumnal bronzes and coppers have already started. So I don't want to overdo it in this. So it's just going to be subtle with both of them. So I'll take that to around about there and then I'm going to take the greens over as well. Now I could take the greens too far but as you know this is a global edit so it will affect the entire image including what I've just adjusted. So I'm just going to take that in there a little bit. From here I'm going to get into the luminance. Now it's up to you how you play with this because each image will be different and each edit will be different. So I'm just going to take that back slightly because I don't want to dominance of the greens. And I'm going to push the luminance of the yellows a tiny bit. So that's okay. That's livable for this. Next thing we're going to do is get into the hue shift. Now this will be subtle and it'll be very subtle. Minus three at the most for this image. Again, quite happy so I can move on to the next part of the edit. For me, as it's titled, Landscape. Now, I'm going to use dehaze, and the reason I'm going to use dehaze is dehaze will also add a contrast to the image. 
So I can take it to there, which is quite far, or I can just do it subtly. Based on what I'm going to do next, I'm also going to add the gold now we're in, just to warm everything up slightly. Foliage enhancer, as this is a drone shot, and it's mainly foliage that you see in the image, and then the foliage hue. Now, you may or may not want to adjust this. It just depends on the image entirely. And for me, I actually don't think I'm going to, so I'll leave that at that. Next, we're going to intensify the image slightly. So, I'm going to enhance. Now, I could take that right up to there, and you can see that boosts the saturation and is oversaturated as well. So, I'm just going to move that in slightly, just to a point where I'm quite happy with it. Yep, that's boosted contrast as well. Next, again, the structure. Push that slightly, and again, that's boosted the contrast. Now, if you're wondering how far along we've came since this, there's the before, there's the after, before and after. So you can see quite a difference already. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get into the colour harmony. And I'm going to move the colour harmony slightly. So I can take it back that way or I can boost it and you can see that that is way too much. Remember, every image should be subtle. Pull that down slightly and I'm going to warm it up slightly as well. So, minus two and three there. Colour contrast. Going to push that again slightly. Just to about there. So, let's just see how much of a difference in a very short space of time. So that's the autumnal colours really punching through now. From here, I'm going to get into the vignette and I'm going to use that just to emphasise this area here. I don't often use vignettes because I, I'm not a big fan of how software applies them, but I'll show you for this image. So I'm going to pull the vignette back just to about there. Now that's drawn your eye in, or hopefully it's drawn your eye in, but I want your eye to be drawn in more to this area, and we'll deal with that in a second, but I want your eye to be drawn in more here and lose some of this. So I'm going to choose the subject area, and I'm going to choose about there. Just about there, and then I'm going to bring the vignette in even further. About there, I'm quite happy there. So we're nearly actually done with this image. I've just a couple of things to do in the light, and that is one is boost the smart contrast, which again, quite happy. Shadows, I don't want to boost for the style of this image. Highlights, I'm going to leave where they are. Moving on to a local masking. And the reason I'm moving on to the local masking is I want to emphasise this area here. So I'm going to click add and add a basic. And in that basic, I'm going to push the highlights. And I'm going to push the shadows slightly. And I'm going to push the structure. So again, you can see it's intensifying everything. I exposure. Just ever so slightly. And what I'm doing is I'm watching this area here. I'm not bothered about the rest because I'm going to mask everything out. Saturation, again, quite happy. So I am going to go in and paint in this area here. So that, that stands out even more. So let's have a look at the before and after, before and after. Hopefully you get something from that and... As long as you remember that each image will be slightly different, even if you follow these instructions, it will be slightly different. And it's down to your choice of how you want the final image to come out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.